So team, keep it clean. Welcome to another episode of Questions from Subs, where you can ask any question you want to, and we answer it in a video like this. If you want to be part of it, you can send an email to teamkeepitclean at gmail.com. Or for the Team Keep It Clean patrons, you can send it directly on Patreon. So, uh, first question. It came from my guy, Oreo Cookie. He said, who will take that next step? Hello Engraven, hope you're doing well hey, We're doing pretty good man, I appreciate you uh, He said I wanted to ask you Oh, and real quick I know my guy told me a couple months ago That hey, this was his last year in high school So he said a great graduation gift Would be the Baltimore Ravens winning the Super Bowl And I agree That would be amazing So Ravens, give it to him It's, it's okay but Anyway, he said I wanted to ask you, what second or third year player will step up in a big way, in your opinion? I think Rashad Bateman could have a breakout year, along with David Ajabo. Oh, okay. Now, would, would David Ajabo, would that be really, would, would it be considered him breaking out? Because he hasn't really even broke into the NFL like that, because he only played like a, in, in a game and change. So I, I can't really put, I wouldn't really put him on the list as a breakout. A breakout player, in my opinion, I think is somebody who's been around for a little bit. But just they haven't quite got it going yet. They 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 may be close. They may be far, but they've been around for a little bit, and they just they haven't really made their mark like that yet consistently. Uh, where they do it for like an entire football season. That's oh, that's a long season. That's a grueling season. I feel for them. That's seventeen games, and they, all, all the practice that goes in, all the study, and just all the work. That's a lot of work. So you got to give it up to them, man. You really do. But anyway. Um, he said, I think Rashad Bateman could have a breakout year along with David Ajabo, but you cannot forget about Adafe away. Adafe away. Oh, and then he said, or Kyle Hamilton. Well, Kyle Hamilton, I, I, I guess it could kind of be considered a breakout year. I mean, he's only been around for a year. Um, I, I guess it kind of could be, but for me, I think, yeah, like you mentioned earlier, you said, uh, which, oh, you did say second or third year player. So Kyle Hamilton would be second. But I think. A breakout season will be more for a guy who's like maybe like in his third year, third or fourth year. I think again, that's just me, but that, everybody got the way that they define breakout. I mean, if you break out, you break out, whether it's second year, first year, third year, whatever. But I get you. Uh, and he said, "P.S. I know you." Oh, <laughs> this was he sent this before we had went up there. But he said, "P.S. I know you're going to Baltimore on the eighth with Tom Grassi. I may be wrong, but we shall see." Well, you were not wrong. You were one thousand percent. Correct, and that was obviously a, a great time. So shout out to Tom Grassi. I know he's still, like, he's still in the middle. When we recording this, he's still in the middle of doing his thirty and thirty tour, which is crazy. It's crazy. Like that's a lot of work, but hey, he the perfect man to do it. So shout out to him. But anyway, uh, which player could I see having a breakout year this year? Uh, my 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 vote would be for Rashad Bateman. I I really think it could be him. Um, and the reason I, I choose Rashad Bateman is because it's there. It's there. Like, it's there for Rashad Bateman. It's just a matter of him staying on the field. Uh, it's a matter of Lamar staying on the field, too, because they um, together, they just they can do some things, man. As we've seen, it's, it's there. <laughs> it really is, man. Um, and I'm 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 just really excited to see it all just get put together. And now for Rashad Bateman, another thing that works in his favor is the way that the the the, the offense, the direction that the offense seems to be headed in. With it being more pass friendly, pass happy, whatnot. But also too, not even just that, even if it wasn't just so pass happy. Which is it's expected to be. Not and not that it they just gonna be passing twenty four seven. Um but with Rashad Bateman, another thing that works in his favor is Mark Andrews. Having Mark Andrews, the healthy Mark Andrews, that helps a lot. Another thing that works in his favor, Odell Beckham Jr. And I think if, if they can get, really if they can get both of them established early, but especially Odell, because a lot of people may be like, with Odell, uh, I don't know about him yet. But if the Ravens can show people about Odell early and often, that will put so much attention on Odell Beckham Jr. All eyes will be on Odell Beckham Jr. All eyes are already, 
All eyes are already on Mark Andrews because they know that's Lamar's go-to guy. And I mean, can you blame him? He been nice. So with all eyes being on those two, then of course all eyes gonna be on Lamar. All eyes always on Lamar, but with all the focus and attention being on those other guys, Rashad Bateman could be like, oh, I know they forgot about me. I know they forgot about me. Last year, I, I started off. I started off right, but then things happen. Unfortunately, freak accidents happen, and that hey, is part of football. And like Odell said, man, if you have an injury, um, the best thing to go to, to get back out, the best thing to do is just to get back out there. It's just to get back out there. Even if you got this fear in your mind, like, oh, I don't want to have that same injury again. I want to prevent it. Da, 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 da. Said the best thing to do is just to get back out there. And that's what's going to be best for Rashad Bateman, to be back out there. But now to be back out there with some guys that are the, them guys that are like that. Um, so I, I would definitely go with, uh, with Rashad Bateman um, for sure. Because he can do it. He got good speed. Which I feel like his speed is still something that's very underrated, even by me myself. Uh, that's something that I always forget about with Rashad Bateman. Like he really got some good speed. He does. Uh, he like a he like he got sneaky speed. That's how I call it. He got sneaky speed. Um, the hands are there. The just the, the route running is definitely there for sure. Um, so yeah, it, it's just a matter. Like I said earlier, putting it all together because. He's capable of it Just gotta just make it happen So um, He would be my guy For offense I mean and then Still another thing That benefits Rashad Bateman too You got J.K. Dobbins And Gus Edwards back there too So if, if Ravens like And again Every game is gonna be different If Ravens get their running game going They get Odell Beckham Jr. going They get Mark Andrews going Like you know they will for sure um, Rashad Bateman He can just feed off of All of that And that's why I'm just so glad That the Ravens Like really they really turned it around when it came to the way that they handle wide receiver because it not only benefits your team as a whole, it, it, which is the most important thing it does, but it benefits the players individually because when you have more, you can do more. And when you have more other guys, they, they see it on the team and they're like, oh, okay, hey, yeah, 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 y'all go watch him for a little bit while I go do my thing. I'm going to eat too So it's It's just a great setup man But now um, If I had to pick one for defense Because I have to go with Rashad Bateman for offense If I had to pick one for defense um, I can see it being Kyle Hamilton With a Dafe away uh, I can see it being Kyle Hamilton I mean obviously I want everybody to break out um, But if I had to pick one that I would love to break out Like really turn that corner It would be a Dafe away That would well, Kyle Hamilton just continue to do what he's been doing, and, and I mean he'll be fine. But with Adafi away, um, it's like he, it's been tough for him because he's just he's been the guy that's just super close, and it's like he's super close to breaking out. But for the past couple of years, he's been super close, and he just he just ain't turned that corner yet. And I guess oh I guess both, um, twenty twenty one first round draft picks. I just realized that because they got drafted in the same draft, both first rounders. So, yeah, and this is both of their third year. Rashad Bateman and Adafi, I just realized that. So what I would love to happen is if, well, let's just talk about Adafi away first. Um, he's been close. He's, he's so close. He's always close to bringing down the quarter, just close. Always close to making a play, close. But I remember last year, toward the end of last year, there were some games where he did not start. He did not start. And I was like, oh, wow. Because I was looking for 99. I don't know if it, nothing. Nothing. And he would get in the game. He would be active, but he just, he wasn't a starter anymore. So coaches just really, they must really had not liked what they saw uh, from Adafi away. Um, and that's got to be humbling. So hopefully he can use that, take that, and that can fuel his fire. And, and that could just really help him elevate. And then, of course, I mean, having your friend alongside you, that, that helps a lot, too. Being That being David Ajabo. Like, you see, remember with Odell Beckham Jr.? Just thinking of people off the top of my head, Odell Beckham Jr., when he got to be play with Jarvis Landry. Oh, they, they had fun. They had a great time. You see, when um, 
LeBron James when he when he get to play with uh when he got to play with Kyrie Irving, they had a great time. You see Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. Well, I don't know if they really friends like that like that, but you said well you saw them before maybe maybe not this year or not, but you saw them before when like you get to play with somebody that you comfortable with that um you 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 super cool with it just helps so much man it it helps so much and it helps you enjoy what you're doing that much more and it it, it can elevate you that much more too and you saw Lamar in Hollywood how they did together so it's just with David Ajabo and Adafa away, I hope that ends up being the case. With them two, they, they, they got plenty of love for each other from a long time ago, and I hope that translates to the field and they can go off. Now, um, what I was getting ready to say earlier, what I hope that both Rashad Bateman and Adafa away both do, I hope they put the pressure on Eric DaCosta. And what I mean when I say that, I hope they put the pressure on Eric DaCosta to where he's like, man, I I got to pick up two fifth-year options. I got to pick up two of them because after this year, because they yeah, drafted 2021, so they played 21, 22, uh, and this will be their third year playing in 2023. After the third year for first-round draft picks, that's when the fifth-year option is either picked up or it's declined. So I I really hope that those guys they could they make they make the decision not necessarily tough for Eric DeCosta, but they force him. They force him to pick up them fifth year options because that would mean they went all the way off. All the way off. And there's no question that hey, these dudes can play. So hopefully that's what goes down. Hopefully that's what we see. Uh but only time will tell. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Shout out to Graven.